Hi, Bill Federico, Pastor for Enterprise DNA. Uh, today I bring to you a couple of uh, new tricks uh, that we are going to build uh, with the error bars. The error bars came into Power BI in March 2022. They are still on, on preview, I do believe, but I know. 100% sure. Um, normally, error bar are used for to visualize uh, unpredictability in your data. And we just play around with them to, to, to find different ways to use it. So we are going to try to, or I'm going to try to show you how I build these examples. Uh, you will be amazed how simple they are. So I'm going to show you how we build the, the big one and then how we actually play around with the error bar, okay, to, to bring the to your attention. So let's build. So that's the big one. In my data, I have hidden everything that I don't need to for the sample. So what I need here is the man. Um, my total save is a line chart where I'm using. I'm going to go to the format pane now, go to line, and hide 100% the line. I'm going to enable the marker, play around with the size and the colors and whatever you want to. And then we are going to the um, analytic pane where the error bar are found. We need to use a measure for it. The measure is very, very simply, it's called, I call it lower bound and it's equal to zero. That's it. We don't need any more. So let's open the error bar. Let's enable it. And let's use this measure in the lower bound. That actually brings this line from the marker to zero. Now the only thing we need to do is just to make me look nice. We don't want any border. We don't want any marker shape. We might want to do a two or a three. It's up to you. I probably like number two more. I'm going to go back to the format pane. I'm going to enable data labels. I'm going to open the values and give me a better color. And there we are. It's simple. It is nothing more to actually uh, work about it, and they are extremely uh, playful. The dynamic and the movement is fantastic. So let me tell you now how we did this one. Me. I move the filter here. For this one, the only thing we do is the same uh, visual. The only thing is we actually enable in the error bar the shape. We put a size 4 again, play with it. It's up to you. I line up 3. For this one in the format pane, format uh, pane in the in the marker, we change the, the circle of the for a um, square. In the error bar again, we add our lower bound, the major. In the bar, we do nothing. But we add this line that you can see there by going to the error bar. The error bar allows you to use a fill, a line, or fill a line. On this occasion, I use just the line with a 75% transparency. This one is very, very similar to the one at the top. The only thing we are implementing here is in the marker using the triangle. 
In the error bar, we have our zero value. In the lower bound, in the bar, we are adding a zero code at the feed, the chart. This one is quite interesting to appear if the both ends are curved or round, and they are achieved very, very nicely using the shape of the pattern. As you can see, it's circle. It's that, that is the it. And in the format pane and uh, in the markers, we do the same. You need to play a little bit with the sizes um, to actually match up the width of, of the of the bar, but again, very good looking uh, bar chart or round bar chart, whatever you want to call it, chart, whatever you want to call it. This one, the only thing we do is to, in the error bar, we enable the error bar for the last year. You have total size as the last year. Enable it, bring your lower bound. And there you go. Again, play with the feet. You want feet, you want a different feet. That is up to you. And the side of the feet, you can add the error bars, the, the, the error bar if you want to. So to you, for you to practice a little bit uh, and play around to see what you can come out with, uh, think about the possibility with the labels and the new uh, function where the labels can be, uh, the color of the label can be uh, changed or, or given uh, using that. And once again, they are very, very playful. Uh, they look fantastic in a report. Okay, the, for today, thank you for listening to me. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, Check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.